Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm really excited to show you guys this makeup look. This has been my go-to makeup look. I wanna start by thanking Sephora for sponsoring this video. It's really cool to be working with a company that I use literally every day. Um, so that's really cool. I'm really excited to be working with them. But yeah, this is my makeup look that I wear whenever I wear makeup, if I'm being honest, because I have been in such like a weird transition I feel like with makeup where I'm so used to the 2016 way of makeup where it's like contour a lot of under eye concealer a lot of eye makeup like just a lot of a lot you know and then switching from the 2016 way of doing makeup to more of like a natural approach I liked the natural makeup a lot but I always just felt like it didn't look right and then after playing around with different products and seeing what I liked on my face and kind of just like forgetting the trends and just doing like what I've liked this is the makeup routine that I've developed for myself that I really really like I feel like I look like myself but just elevated and I wear this during the day but I can also wear this out at night um, and it doesn't take long if I'm not recording it only takes like 15 minutes So it really doesn't take a long time to do this makeup look and I just really like it I'm excited to show you guys it today So all the products I'm using in today's video can be purchased at Sephora or online at sephora.com If you guys haven't signed up already for the Sephora Beauty Insider program, you absolutely should They have three tiers of the membership There are the Rouge members, the VIB members, and the Insiders So regardless of your member status, every time you purchase anything at Sephora with your Beauty Insider account You will get more points and those points can lead to a whole bunch of things like little prizes, little gifts goodie bags to get like a birthday gift um and now you can also start taking like money off your order too which is really awesome so while you guys are shopping for anything that i mentioned in this video just be sure to sign up for the beauty insider program it's a great program great reward system so also in this video i am trying out some newer hot products like the makeup by mario foundation i just picked up recently and i'm like obsessed with it um there's also some products that i are like newer to me but have been always sold out and like kind of hard to get your hands on like some rare beauty products and fenty products stuff like that too uh, but I also just want to highlight a couple of other products that Sephora sent over that I'm really excited to try out for this month and I'm gonna link them down below if you guys want to try them out too Do you guys know that I am like obsessed with the um, Brazilian bum bum cream I have so many of them this is literally a little one that I keep on my vanity because I just keep it literally everywhere with me if you've never smelled this it's the most amazing smell of all time. It's like truly one of the best scents to ever exist. Um, so when I saw that they had a oil for the body, I was like obsessed. So this is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Body for Mensa oil. So this oil um, firms your body and it also just smells just as luxurious and just as good as the lotion. It is seriously like such a major product i'm obsessed with it i love this stuff in the winter months it is so key i feel like my whole body in the winter just is constantly so dry and this is like really key plus it just makes you smell so amazing like you will get so many compliments wearing this so i could not recommend it enough i took a shower right before this and i put it on so i'm smelling really really amazing right now so could not recommend this more i'm like all about skincare right now and i feel like a lot of you guys are as well so i really wanted to pick up this cream from caudalie it's like a thick night cream so this is what it looks like i am i'll show you guys like my daytime moisturizer in a minute of what i'm obsessed with but i don't like to put on my daytime moisturizer at night i like to have something a little bit thicker especially in the winter months so this has been a go-to for me i have made quite the dent in it already and i'm obsessed with it it's really really nice it's really really creamy on the skin and it's a very premium product so if you're like looking for a valentine's day gift or a birthday gift or just want to treat yourself to anything this is a really really nice gift it's so rich it's so luxurious it's so creamy to go along with that i'm really into firming products especially firming products on my under eye so this is the shawnee darden intensive eye renewal cream i've been putting this on before my makeup which you guys will actually see in a minute so i put this on before my makeup but even if i'm not wearing makeup i will also just put this on pretty much at night and this is really really nice i've definitely noticed like just when i put this on under Underneath makeup I feel like my makeup under my eyes just stay a lot better and they really just set very beautifully um you guys know that one of my favorite moisturizers of all time is the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense so um, I actually show skin prep in a little bit 
and I use this product in it and I'm obsessed. It's just like the dewiest look of all time. Something that I also recently picked up was the Rare Beauty Blush. I have not been able to get my hands on this for the longest time and you guys are probably like, Tori, you're literally so late to the game, but like honestly, I could not get my hands on this. So this was in the shade Joy. Like I like peachy, mauve -y tones on me and like that's what I'm wearing today. Um, so this product I've been obsessed with ever since I got it and it really is like worth the hype and it's back in stock on Sephora com that's where i got it so if you have been looking for one of these but they're always sold out check now because mine was in stock all of the makeup hype lately has been about mario and i recently picked up his new foundation this is the makeup by mario foundation what is this like actually called surreal skin foundation yeah it is so good i'm wearing it today you guys can see in a minute how it applies but it is definitely one of my top three foundations i really wanted to try this and i also really want to try the house labs foundation i haven't gotten that yet and i was deciding between the two which ones i wanted to pick up and i got this one instead and i'm really happy that i did i feel like it really does look like skin it really does deliver like everything that it says it's going to and honestly anything that mario makes I trust like I really do trust everything that he says and then the last thing that I got from Sephora I actually need to exchange because I got the wrong product um so I got the Peter Thomas Roth yeah Peter Thomas Roth water drenched hyaluronic cl cloud cream hydrating moisturizer try saying that five times fast um, but I meant to get the eye gels. I'm obsessed with the eye gels and I just ran out of them and I thought that's what these were, but it's actually just like a moisturizer and I am set with moisturizers. So I need to actually exchange this and get the under eye patches, but maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should just keep this too and like use it when my clinic one runs out. I don't know, maybe I will keep it because it has hyaluronic acid in it, which I am obsessed with. I really wanted the eye gel patches. Like that's what I thought I was getting because I use those under my eyes every single day to relief like puffiness. And even if I'm not puffy, it just feels really good under the eyes. That is everything that I got from Sephora. And I'm gonna show you guys this makeup in just one second. But again, if you guys want any of the products that I talk about, it will be listed down below and all of them will be linked. I wanna thank Sephora again for working with me in this video. It is such a dream to work with such a cool company. Yeah, make sure to sign up for their Beauty Insiders program i will have everything listed down below on how to sign up remember there's three tiers rouge members vip members or insiders and i think that is all that i wanted to say so without any further ado let's get on to this makeup look i already washed my skin um but skin prep is so important when it comes to makeup i already washed my face and i put on a little bit of hyaluronic acid and now i'm just going to put on some eye cream so this is the shawnee darden intensive eye renewal cream with firming peptides put it on my ring fingers and then dab it under my eyes um i even found that like for christmas i look at this how just one nail peeled off it's like so embarrassing um even for christmas i was gifting my mom like pretty much like just skincare and then for moisturizer you guys know that like my favorite moisturizer of literally all time is the clinique moisture surge intense this stuff is so good but like this moisturizer really is like the real deal it is everything that you could want and i just try and be gentler on my eye area i had like a nice shirt on and then i was like you know what i really just want to be in a sweatshirt today so i'm doing this and my podcast in a sweatshirt today so i'm following that like makeup trend of doing your makeup kind of like in reverse i guess you could say and i'm using the rare beauty bronzer stick this is in the shade power boost but i love this application order i just think it works really well and it makes every application look really natural so anyway i'm just starting off by contouring that's actually my first step with a cream contour this one by rare beauty is really really nice it blends in so easily um i think the charlotte tilbury one is also really nice i know tarte also just came out with bronzing sticks so there's a bunch of different brands, but I just like this one from Rare Beauty. It's just very rough in the beginning. It all will come together. This, this makeup application is like trust the process to the max. Then I go in with the Rare Beauty um, Joy Blush. I really love this shade because I'm all about peach blush. I feel like peach is just like my color. And I kind of do a lot because it does get covered. It blends out so seamlessly. I also place it like pretty high up. And again, it's going to look really crazy because you don't have anything else on. 
so just continue to trust and i blend and blot and blend and blot and blend and blot until it's like pretty much where i want it and again the color might look intense at first but i do promise it looks really good afterwards then i take my concealer this is tarte and i put it under my eyes i feel like where everyone puts their concealer right here and then i just kind of clean everything up so i clean this up i put some on my eyes my eyelids i should say because that primes them for eyeshadow you can clean up under here if it got like a little crazy mine's not too too out of whack today and then down the nose if you so desire and any like blemish spots and i typically just stipple mine first and i prefer to use a brush to blend mine out instead of a beauty blender or like a makeup sponge because i feel like the sponge takes the product away just puts it where you want it and doesn't take the product away i really feel like i have not been wearing much makeup and because of that every time i would go in to do my makeup i would always be so like confused on what to do because i felt like everything was always just way too heavy you know what i mean like i got so used to seeing myself without makeup that when i put it on it was such a shock and it was so dramatic did I even put concealer here? That it was so dramatic that I just never liked it until I started doing this makeup routine. And this, I really like. Because I feel like it looks like me, but just very natural and very natural. Like, it just looks like me still, but just a little more enhanced and i feel like a lot of girls are kind of in this boat like natural makeup has really become the staple when i think a lot of us were transitioning from like 2016 cut crease super glittery highlighters intense concealer strong contouring makeup to the whole natural makeup and it's kind of it's like how do we how do we do that and this routine feels really good to me so if you're kind of struggling with makeup lately try this out and let me know what you guys think because i think you'll really like it now i know that this might still look pretty harsh in some places but remember it's because we still haven't really blended it out so we just did the bronzer the blush and the concealer so you just want to take a big fluffy brush the one that i'm using today is the makeup by mario one and i was so excited to get my hands on this it's still rather new to me so it's not like I can't say it's like my favorite foundation yet, but it's definitely one of my top three. What I do with this foundation is I actually just put one pump in the palm of my hand. I do the palm of my hand because it heats up the product. And then I just start taking like my fluffy brush and I just disperse it into my palm and really just heat it up. Get it nice and warm. Get a lot of like the excess product into my hand so that my brush kind of just has the leftovers and then once i feel like i have the leftovers on my brush that is what i then put on my skin and i just start really really lightly start dispersing this over top of everything and you can already see that it just blends all of the cream into one another and you don't need to use as much foundation because you already have a lot of the base so this is all still just from that one initial dip on my hand. I haven't gotten back, gone back in for more. And I don't think I really will. I'm just going to keep using this. And I'm not really like dragging. I'm pretty much, I'm using like the lightest touch. And I'm just kind of like stippling and gliding this over top. I'm really not using much pressure at all. And this just leaves the skin really skin-like. And the foundation just goes on so beautifully. And I also think it's because of the formulation of this foundation. Like if I were to go in with like a really heavy matte, it wouldn't give me really the same like skin-like effect. I'm going to go back in with the product on my neck. So here's the secret when it comes to setting the under eyes. We tend to put on a lot of concealer to conceal dark circles. But what we really need to be doing is color correcting which is not like a new concept not a new theory i'm not reinventing the wheel here um but when i i don't really need to color correct with concealer but i do color correct with powder so i go in with the loose powder this is from too faced and this is a peach toned 
setting powder. Huda Beauty has a really good peach setting powder. So I take the setting powder, make sure it's the shade peach, and you do not bake with this because it's going to get too dark. So I just put this on like a fluffy tapered brush and I'll link below a bunch of brushes um, from Sephora that I use. So you just take the peach setting powder and just put that underneath your eyes and that peach is going to actually be a color corrector for underneath your eyes and it will help any darkness and dark circles. If you can't find a peach setting powder, you can also just use a peach eyeshadow just with a very light hand and you're gonna get the same effect. Just don't bake with this because it's going to be too dark to bake with. And I personally don't really set anything else much for the most part but if i do i go in with the kosas breezy cloud set and just set like t-zone nose and smile lines just like right here and then my under eyes all right moving on to powder products so that's like my cream base i use the um charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer in the shade two and i'm gonna go in and just put this on the temples of my forehead and i just pretty much put this everywhere that i put the cream products and because we have like that base underneath we still have color so you don't need to use like a ton of product here and i like to put some on my jaw i've actually learned recently that i have a really wide jawline which i never thought that i had i always thought i had a really small jawline until recently i've been seeing like pictures of me i was at a wedding and I got a picture back of me and I was like, okay, huge square jawline. Like I never really thought I had a square jawline. So I don't know, maybe I'm like growing one. I really don't know, but I'm trying to just find the right contouring when it comes to my neck. Cause I've always had a very small chin and like a pretty weak neck, but like my jawline it's very prominent. So it's kind of like, I'm like playing around with it. I'm like figuring it out. For blush, I'm going with Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Cheek to Cheek in Pillow Talk. I am just really obsessed with this shade and I feel like it complements the Rare Beauty blush that we put on first really, really well and you don't need like a ton of it. And it just looks really jolly. Then I go in with Fenty Beauty. This is the highlighter duo. And this is in the shade Girl Next Door and Chic. Looks like this. And I just take a brush and I mix the two together. And I just top that blush with this combo. Old Palette from Hourglass has such a chokehold on me. I'm really obsessed with it. Um, I just take a brush. I think this is like an old Anastasia brush. And I just pretty much mix this shade and this shade together. And I just put that on my cheeks. Some say that highlighter is out, but I say makeup is personal. I just did my eyebrows off camera. I just used the Anastasia eyebrow pencil. Um, I don't do anything special to my eyebrows because they're microbladed, so I just follow my microblade with the pencil. I'm so happy I got my hands on this. Um, it was actually a Christmas gift from my best friend, and it was so nice so this is the makeup by mario master mattes palette um i love it it is quite literally the only makeup palette that i use very simple eye look it's nothing crazy it's it's just like a little bit of eye contouring if i'm being honest so i take this shade right here on the end you could also just use your bronzer you don't need a fancy palette and i just put this in my eye crease and I'm just kind of messy with it. I don't do anything too wild. I just throw it in there. And I also just bring it in right here. A little bit underneath my eyes as well. For sake of the video, I'll show you what I do on days. I feel like being a little fancy. But some like most days, I'll just leave it like this. But if I want to be fancy, I will go in with these. Just like any of these shades, honestly. But today I'm just going to do a little bit of those too. Just get this a little deeper in like the immediate crease and under the eyes and blend. That's all. Nothing crazy. I go in with this peach shade and that goes on my lid. And this really, I feel like, opens up my eye a lot. And then I take 
this white shade and that goes underneath my brow and on this inner corner. Then I take the same white on, let me get the brush, a flat topped brush like this and I put that on my inner waterline. I've learned with this that like less is more. If I do too much of that white shade on my waterline, it just looks crazy. And then I take this Milk Makeup Eyeliner in the shade Outer Space, it's just a black, and I tight line with this. Then I go back in with my face highlight, which was that hourglass highlight. And I just put that where we put the white. So like underneath my brow bone and the inner corner. I just like having that base of white underneath of it. Okay, this has been game changer for me. So now I take that same flat topped brush and I take this brown. But what you do is you just draw a line pretty much does all the work for you. So you just draw a line out like that. And then you just make like a little triangle and connect it in. And it really does just like make this shape for you. It's very simple, it's like very foolproof. So you can see it just gives like a really soft definition to the eyes that doesn't look Crazy. Then I go in with mascara. I use two different mascaras. So first is the Too Faced Better Than Sex, and then I go in with Benefit They're Real. This mascara has been going strong with me for, I don't know, years, since high school. Last but not least is lips. And I'm honestly really boring when it comes to lips. I... I don't really do much. So I'll either use this Fenty Beauty lip gloss in Fussy, which I think I'm gonna use today, or I'll just use a lip oil. This is the Dior Lip Glow in Cherry. Sometimes I do a liner, but not always. Like I'm really low maintenance with the lips. Like the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner I'll sometimes use but I just feel like a little weird sometimes using liner. I just like how my lips naturally look. And that's that, that's the whole makeup look. I feel like it looks so much, I feel like I really look like myself, um, but just a little enhanced. And the skin, I don't know if you, hopefully you can tell on camera, but my skin looks really natural. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. So like my eyes look really open and inviting and I feel really awake. And guys, that is how I do my makeup on the days that I wear makeup, which is trust me, not every day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys like my blowout too. What do we think? Should I get blowouts more? I kind of like it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you to Sephora again. I'm going to have everything linked down below if you guys want to check anything out. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.